hello and welcome in this video we are going to discuss another C problem that is to find or check whether a number is power of 2 or not using bitwise and operator so this is the statement for the problem that we are going to discuss before writing the code for it or discussing the code for it let's uh, understand the problem in detail the numbers that are power of 2 are shown over here if we can say if we say that 2 raised to power 0 we get number 1 so this is the binary representation of number 1 if uh, the number is 2 raised to power 2 that is if the number is 4 then the binary representation this will be this so I have shown over here uh, different numbers which are 2 to the power some value so these are the numbers and corresponding to these numbers or against these numbers I have written the binary equivalent of the numbers it's clear from the binary representation that if the number is 2 raised to power some some value then its binary representation will have only one 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 bit for, for example our, in this case the binary representation of 8 is having just one bit that is one Similarly, the binary representation of 16 is having one bit 1 and if we if we write the binary equivalent of the numbers which are not 2 raised to power some value for example 3 so if you write the binary representation of this you will get this number so it's clear from its representation that the binary representation of a number that is not 2 raised to power some value it will have more than uh, more than one bit that is that is one so here two num two bits are what similarly in in 13 uh, the binary representation have three ones so uh, now this problem reduces to counting the number of uh, bits in the binary representation of a number if the number of one bits is equal to one that means that number is uh, two raised to power some value if the number of one bits are more than one that means that number is not the power of uh, two so let's discuss the code i have written the code over here already to save time so uh, I have used some integer variables uh, in, in variable a you will read the value uh, that you want to check whether it is a power of 2 or not so first of all we'll uh, uh, assume some value that is power of 2 uh, suppose the value of a is uh, 4 right so if you input 4 uh, then the next line when this line will be executed this will assign 4 to n so that means uh, at this step the value of n is 4 fine then the computer will execute the next line while while loop and as you know when while loop is encountered in a program first of all the condition is tested now this condition is a greater than 0 this is true because the value of a is 4 and uh, it is greater than 0 so this condition will evaluate to true and if the condition is true the body of the loop is executed so the very first statement in the body of the while loop will execute so in this loop we are performing a and one operation over here so a and one why we have uh, uh, written this line is the, the reason behind this is we want to check the every bit of the number so first we will check the this bit then we will check the next bit then we will check the next bit and so on 
so if you want to check one bit at a time uh, you have to perform the this operation so this will check the least significant bit of a so the value of a is uh, 4 so it will check this bit this is the binary equivalent of 4 and it is 0 so as uh, I am assuming over here that you know how what is what is the purpose of a bitwise and operator what it does so when you add a number with one that means you are checking the least significant bit of number a and if the result is zero that that means the least significant bit of a is zero if the result of this expression a ampersand 1 is 1 that means the least significant bit is 1 now the next step is we are checking if b is equal to 1 that means that that bit is 1 um, least significant bit is 1 if this bit is 1 will increment the value of the counter variable c by 1 so because the bit the first bit of uh, 4 was 0 so this b will evaluate to 0 and uh, this expression b is equal to 1 will evaluate to false in this case so that means this statement will not be executed so if this not will if this this will not be executed then it will execute the next statement and with this we are shifting the binary uh, equivalent of a to the right by one bit so that means this will change the value of a from this number this this number is basically a 4 in binary it will change to I'm going to write it like this so it will change to this number if you shift it one bit to the right so this is the representation after the shifting by one bit so this is the uh, modified value of a right earlier the value of a was 4 so this is the binary representation of it if you shift it to the right by one bit mm -hmm. as we discussed earlier its value will reduce to half so this will change to 2 then the control will go up so it will go to this increment decrement expression and it will test the value of a again now the value of a is 2 so this condition will evaluate to true so this is true again the body of the loop will be executed and this time we are again performing a ampersand 1 so this a ampersand 1 will uh, check the least significant bit of the new value of a so because this is 0 so this this expression will again evaluate to 0 and that 0 will be assigned to variable b and the next step if b is equal to 1 this condition will evaluate to false because value of b is 0 so 0 is equal to 1 is false so this will not be executed so after that it will evaluate this expression a greater than 1 so again this number a will be shifted to the right by one bit so its value will change to this number now so the value is now 1 so that this value 1 will be assigned to a so with the next iteration a is greater than 0 because its value is 1 now and this time this expression a ampersand 1 will evaluate to 1 because the least significant bit is 1 so this will evaluate to 1 so it will assign this value this expression will assign 1 to variable b so in this step the value of b is 1 so the next step if b is equal to 1 will evaluate to true because value of b is 1 so this will increment c by 1 so this step will change the value of c from 0 to 1 so this will change to 1 with the next step again this will shift a to the right when this number will be shifted to the right it will change to this number now 
the number is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 in other words we can see the value of a will become 0 so when the control will go up to the conditional part of the while loop this time this expression will evaluate to false because value of a is 0 it's greater than it's not greater than 0 so this expression will evaluate to false when this will evaluate to false the control will go to the first line after the while loop so it will jump to this statement this if statement now in this statement we have written over here if c is equal to 1 if c is equal to 1 that means there is only one one bit in the binary representation of the number so in this case as we discussed with the value 4 uh, this will evaluate to true and if it is true that means the number is the power of 2 so this statement will be executed and you will get n that is 4 is the power of 2 and similarly if you take any value as the value of a if uh, this 3 let's suppose if the value of a is 3 that means this loop will count the number of ones in the binary representation of 3 so when this loop will terminate the value of c will be 2 so this 2 is equal to 1 will evaluate to false in that case else part will be executed and you will get 3 is not a power of 2 i hope you get uh, get it right uh, if there is any doubt you can leave your doubt in the comment section and uh, i will try to help you understand that thank you